hi guys in this video i'm going to cover how to create dynamic file uh, in iacs and uh, by appending the timestamp to your file we are using static file uh, with the same name uh, if you are running today uh, last yesterday last run file is going to uh, replace with this uh, today's file so like that if you don't want and you want every time a fresh file name uh, by appending a timestamp so at the time how we can generate in IACS uh, I'll show you today so let's watch it now I'm in the data integration and I'm going to uh, I'm in the test folder and I'm going to create a new mapping so I am creating one mapping for flat file load. So source also uh, mine is flat file. I am taking as a flat file. And I am taking some sample file source. and uh, then i'm going to create one uh, expression password expression i'm not giving any names here if you want just give the meaningful names to every transformation for source expression and target and here i'm just going to create one more field these are the incoming fields here from the source these are the incoming fields class role number student name apart from that i am going to create one more file name sorry file uh, and another port output field this is output port i am going to create another port with name file name so i am giving 100 precision so string and 100 so here i am going to configure the logic just I am giving my file name suppose I want some uh, uh, lead uh, lead is my file name and uh, I am going to append append a timestamp for this uh, so I am giving pipe so here I am giving to care you can see uh, if you don't know the functions then you can see here uh, the system uh, variables are there and parameters built-in functions user defined functions I am going to build in functions now I want to um, uh, convert uh, system date to um, system date to some format date format so I am going to the functions like date functions what we have so you can see this is the two char so I am just converting the date to the character so here you have to give the date I am giving this date this is nothing but system date and we have session start date also like uh, whenever you are mapping started uh, that date it is going to store in the session started I will show you where it will be uh, here you can see system variables uh, here you can see uh, session start date says start date uh, and uh, system date says date. Uh, the difference between the session start date and sys date is sys date means whenever your file is going to create at the time the whatever the time and whatever the date it is going to take. And here session start time is nothing but whenever your mapping task is started, mapping is started. Uh, that time the starting time of the mapping is going to store in this variable so you can use either sys date or session start date and the format you have to give here like which format you are going to append so i'm going to, sorry we have to give in the single quotes um mm dd by 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 uh, and uh, sec, I mean, I'm giving hours hs2 hh24. So, and appending mi minutes, 
and uh, ss seconds this is i'm going to append to this lead this is string so a concatenation i'm using the pipe symbol and to convert this in state into the character um, just giving this uh, a to care function i'm using this and the format this is the format like in which format we are we need date so i'm just going to validate this so it's valid expression is valid and i forgot to add like uh, dot csv i am going to create this file with uh, extension dot csv so i am giving uh, here dot csv in quotes so this will also i am going to append so this is my file name so every time when it is generating based on this state or session start date it is going to append to lead and uh, uh, my file type is dot csv i appended here this is the logic i have written in this expression and now in target uh, i'm going to create again flat file connection so go to the target here you can see i have lots so i'm just taking one connection here flat file connection and uh, here i'm going to select dynamic file so here existing is the target object we have two existing means already if the file is has existed you want to use that file then you have to give existing so it will show in that path in that connection path whatever the files is there it is showing here just you have to select that file and if you want to create um, a file at runtime so the file name you want to create uh, at runtime the you have to click create a new at runtime create new at runtime and uh, this is the uh, formatting options like uh, uh, which format you want comma delimited or uh, tab colon all this the delimiters and uh, in that format only it is going to generate and text to qualifier if you give none if suppose it's a string it will not uh, give in in quotes it will not give in quotes if uh, select a single quote then if it's a string then it will give in a quote and if uh, uh, double quotes means so the string value will see in the file in double quotes and you can give any escape characters you want to escape and okay and here the static file name is there uh, basically uh, sorry i forgot to tell you uh, basically if you are uh, uh, like you want you don't want to create a dynamic file like every time you want the same name uh, the file name will be same name whenever it ran uh, whenever it run at the time you have to give here the static file name so it is not going to change in the name itself it's a static you can see and um, if you want to use for uh, a dynamic click on dynamic file generation so here you can see uh, we have the fields and here expression is there so what uh, you have to create the uh, you, whatever you want like how with this field if you wanna do any concatenation we can do it here also but i'm just adding that file name port here you can see the file name uh, so i'm just adding and i'm just clicking here exclude dynamic file name field because exclude dynamic file name field means this file name port is there right so this is i am just using for generating this file name so i just i don't want this file name port uh, this port in target like in or uh, with all fields uh, this file name is also going to generate uh, in the target file but i don't want this field in the target i uh, just using for file name generation then you have to click here this uh, this one so it it will exclude this file name in your target file so this data will not see in the file content now 
just click validate the expression is valid and click ok and then save it it's valid so I'm going to run this one go to my jobs I have three records let's see how many records are going to load it's in queue state now it's running so three records are there uh, it's loaded successfully now I'm going to check in my path like uh, it's generated or not target file path you can see here the lead lead is my file name and with the uh, uh, timestamp uh, mmtd by I have given so same format and here hh uh, 24 so 24 hours it is taking right now it's uh, 23 means it's uh, 12 uh, sorry 11 49 and 42 uh, 49 is semi and 42 is seconds so like this it's going to create but you can identify uh, here uh, csv file is not uh, uh, given here because it's in windows it's not uh, showing here but here you can see type uh, it's a comma delimited comma separated value file in this file you can see here but if it's uh, linux or unix here you can see with the uh, extension dot csv yeah clear so if next time you will run we'll see one uh, one second we'll see first content it should not having the file name see here roll number is the student name class this is my sample fields i mean in the file whatever the fields i have those fields only it's loaded and the file name field here the column with file name it's not there because uh, uh, whenever uh, we are generating that we have checked that to exclude the file name um, so that field we are selecting for only uh, processing the file name Mm, so because of that it's not included here if you are not checked that here uh, like I'll show you uh, what I'm talking sorry in the select if you are not check this exclude dynamic file name field exclude dynamic file name field if you are not check this this file name is also be there in that file content so this is the one I am going to run one more time so we will see that has changed or not dynamic file is generating or not we will see date will be the same but timestamp time will change it is going to create another file it will not replace with the previous file so you can see here lead with new file is there 52 and 59 is the file okay thanks for watching this video and um, Please subscribe it if anybody has not subscribed and share the contents if anybody is preparing for the interviews and these are very very important because if you are if you are having real time experience if you are working on uh, uh, daily jobs uh, and monthly jobs uh, while creating these things like this this uh, scenario is very important they will ask this question because uh, how you will append how you will uh, uh, see yesterday's date, uh, data yesterday's file like that they will ask so you have to explain these things thank you thank you so much for watching this video bye bye